such a long time, hasn't it? It's been too long, I guess you can say. So, I don't even know how to like angle this though. Um, so I've had plenty of videos that I wanted to post on the YouTube channel because the last time I posted it was about the baby that we are now with, but also at the same time, I think I posted like a video from the salon. Yeah, we're from the salon. There's my baby, all grown up. Um, there's definitely a lot of videos I've been wanting to post and my husband wanted to post, but um, it's just me and him, me and Tala now. My husband had passed away on August 29th, 2020, last year. So it's been about four months now since we have lost him. Um, we're trying. <laughs> we are definitely trying. And it's been hard. It's been it's been definitely been hard. Uh, my mom still lives with me, so she helps a lot with Tala. And it's been a whirlwind. Even though my mom still lives with us and helps out, still feels like it's just me and Tala. It does. And that's at the end of the day, that's all I have is Tala. I know I have my mom and my family friends. Tala, where are you going? Okay, but sometimes it just feels like it's just Tala and I. Tala is a year and three months now. Um, it does feel lonely sometimes without without my Daniel. Um, so he passed away last year. He was in the hospital for over a month started out with allergic reaction and then he went to the hospital got seen um, him and Tala Tala had a really bad teething fever there's nothing in that and then um, Daniel had allergic reaction but they didn't cure him from that and then they found out that they had COVID don't even know how they got COVID we think from Scrimmageddon where we worked at had it um, All right, he had allergic reaction to our outdoors from mowing the yard. And then they had found out they had COVID, um, most likely had gotten it from a friend from Scrimmageddon, because the people that, you okay, Tala? Because the people that were holding Tala and they were hugging, and I had hugged Daniel and me, were from Scrimmageddon. I ended up getting it and my mother got it. And the same few people, there was a few people, we're not sure which ones, but somebody had it. And they were, were, they were all vaccinated. And they still gave it to us. We had our face masks on the whole entire time, but it still didn't, you know, prevent us. So vaccines and masks don't prevent at all. Um, he, they gave him some cough medicine for his lungs because he had asthma. That's basically all the hospital gave. And then he was running fever, so we just kept switching it off from Tylenol and Advil. Um, He, two, day, two, three days later after the hospital, from the first ER visit, he was just getting, was not feeling well. He was laying all the time all around. We didn't know about the antibodies, but also we didn't know he was supposed to lay it down all the time. Um, Tuesday, um, it was on a Tuesday night. So we went to the ER Saturday by Tuesday night. Um, around nine o'clock. We were just getting ready to go to bed and he went to sleep and then Tala pressed on his stomach because he was trying to get comfy and then Daniel woke up he went <gasps> he literally almost probably almost died 
on our bed that night if it wasn't for Tala waking him up. Um, so I took him to the ER and my mom watched Tala. And then within three days, he already became dyslexic because they have him drugged up so much on medication. Um, he was getting better, but then wasn't getting better, depending on what it was and who the nurse was that actually talked. It was hard to talk to anybody there. Um, mm -hmm. Bye, baby. Mm -hmm. Yeah. So it's been an or win. And I say husband, but we weren't legally married yet. We were by faith. And we were together for about four years. But didn't get a chance to finally legalize it. We were two months away of legalizing it. And I couldn't even take his last name. So I'm trying to save up enough funds so I can get my last name changed. So I can finally have his last name. Our son has his last name, but I don't yet. This is hard. But we have so many videos, so many, that I want to post. And I need just to make the time to be able to post them. So it might be a lot of videos all at one time, or I'm going to put one whole big video together. I'm going to do one with Daniel, with our life together, and well, his life. I'm put that all in one video. And then I'm going to put a whole video of Thomas for his year together and just like everything else. We even recorded so many videos for the salon when I was doing hair. I'm still doing hair. So that's, it's so slow still at the salon. But I have so many videos I need to post. And I want to get on his laptop and post all the videos that he's ever recorded. Because he has a lot of vlogging videos that he's done that he hasn't even got a chance to post. Because I, this is not for anybody but for me. And if anybody finds joy in it, and I'm going to try to make it happy and stuff after I post all the videos that I post. Because I'm going to definitely try to do okay, lifely vlogs. So yeah, and I want Tyler to have all these videos when he gets older, I do, because I still look back at all the videos that Daniel has posted so far on his YouTube, so I definitely want to look back at these, but also for Tyler and for anybody that knows us, or new people that get to know us, so, and I definitely want to try to do like stories of like certain videos and stuff or memories of Daniel that I have. So that way Tal will have them too. And that way I can remember them when I get old. So but that's it for this this time. Before I start crying on how I feel. Because I'm lonely without Daniel. I have nowhere else to go. Like I do I know what I mean by that. I don't know where to go because Daniel wasn't my person, my soulmate, my my home and now my home's gone so i don't know what to do anymore like i'm lost i just been searching forever and i got myself together and i've not became lost anymore met daniel he became my home and now i feel like i'm start i'm in high school again i'm starting all over i don't know where to go because he really was my home and my person and i'm not going to marry anybody out because I don't want anyone. If it was, if it's not him, I don't want anyone. And I'm tired of everybody keeps saying that I'm young. I'm fucking 27. I'm 27. I know what the hell I want. And I've been with, a, so I've been with different people, boys and girls, and he's the only one I want. Only one, and he's the only one. I, and I was planning my life with him, so I'm not going to want to marry anybody else. I'm not going to want to date with anybody else. I don't want to do anything with anybody else. I just, 
I will accept friendships and family relationships, but anything else, no. I don't want anybody else. My soulmate, my lover, my one true love, that's all gone. And now he's a ghost. On our wedding day, I got the chance to marry his spirit and, bo and bonded our spirits together. Um, really good friends was with there with us. The person was going to, who was going to marry us is our good friend. It's like a father to us. He sees and all that, and he's been doing that for a long time. He's like chip coffee in a way. Um, there is a video of that. I'm just waiting for it to come in, and I don't know if I want to post it per se, but I'm definitely going to upload it to YouTube on private so I can watch it another time. But I may leave it up for public viewing. I might. I don't know yet. Because it's not something that most people accept unless you're in the spirit stuff. Um, but it was beautiful, so I got to marry his spirit, so we are married. State of Florida does not recognize marrying the dead at all, so that sucks. But I am married to him, and I do have the gift to see and everything. It's just I'm so blocked right now from emotional that I just don't see it anymore. I can't even astral project at the moment or do anything that I used usually do with my gifts. So now I gotta wait, I gotta heal. Um. I'm trying not to cry so bad. I really am. So I'm just going to end it. Um, thanks for watching. Um, please like and share and subscribe. Please hit the notification bell if you want to see more. And that's about it.